these fish just kind of calm them down got him whoa a lot of splashes <laughs> on the camera on your lens cover <laughs> thankfully on the lens and then he goes a little aggressive so when you're tying your bags up I recommend highly use two rubber bands because more often than not one of them will break. Yeah, it's good to have that back up. If you're only using one, you have to start the library. Nicely done. Trapping all that oxygen in there. So I like to try and get the rubber bands just below. The knot yep. in the back. Seal it off. There. There we go. Hecky. Oh, he's going, what the heck? There we go, got him focused. Beautiful. Well done. But it's a breeding pair. Yep. He's get a couple lots of fish which I'm pretty happy about. Um, got home late last night. I didn't want to film and stress them out. just wanted to get them in the tanks because it's a long day for those fish and I uh, thought I'd, I'd just record this morning and uh, really talk to you about some of the fish I got and how they're doing right now. So uh, I managed to get uh, four lots of fish but some of the fish you can probably see um, at the top there, swimming around, there's some ventralis, Shakita. Um, some fry there, they're doing really well, very active. I'm not scared of anything, these guys. So, there, they're pretty happy swimming around in the tank. You can see some uneaten food in there that I'll have to scoop out later. In here, there's some fish I picked up off my cousin. He didn't want any more. Some Brevis Sunspot. They're still settling in as well, but they're pretty active. They're interacting with the ventralis in the next tank. Fish won't be in these tanks for much, for, for long, just a couple of weeks just to quarantine. These next two tanks have um, more trets, so Neolempelagus tetrathopalus. Not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly, but more of these guys. So I've got two more because this female keeps spawning by herself and 
I'm not sure if I have four females in this tank. So, someone was selling two uh, more trets last night and I thought I'd, I'd make you go for them. And I got them. And then these last two tanks, I got some black calvis on the left and some white calvis on the right. So two pairs, they were sold as two adult pairs. I'm hoping they will be able to spawn soon. And, um, but they won't be in these tanks for much longer. They'll be going into my two foot cubes. So one pair will be going in here, another pair will be going in there. So guys, one of the most important things you can do when you're bringing fish home and you have a setup like this, where you're running all multiple tanks off one central sump, is to have the ability to split the tanks off and take them out of the system easily so you can quarantine fish. So one of the big reasons I set up the plumbing the way I did was so I could do this very thing. I don't have to have separate quarantine tanks in my fish room. I can quarantine off any tank I need, as I need. So I decided to split off certain tanks from the system. It's much easier for me to split off the top row and use them for quarantine because they have sponge filters running in them already. If I wanted to split off any of these lower tanks, I'd have to take the sponge filters out of the top tanks and put them in here or in the lower end of the forefooter. So I didn't really want to have to do that last night. So I've used the tanks at the top as quarantine tanks, just some of them. So these two tanks here have gold oscillatus babies in them, have, have some fry, they're connected to the system. Now these two tanks here have the ventralis and the brevis. They're not in the system. The way I disconnect a tank out of the system is to close off the return pump, uh, sorry, close off the return line with the ball valve in each tank. That allows the water level to drain below the bulkhead and then that system, that tank is out of the system. So this tank, this tank, these two and these two are out of the system. They're not connected to the sump anymore. All I had to do was turn the ball valve, the tap, basically on the return line and that stops water flowing into the tank. They have sponge filters in there. Those sponge filters have been running for almost two to three months now, so they're uh, well and truly um, seeded with beneficial bacteria for the tank. So guys, with this sort of setup, the way the plumbing is done, it's pretty easy to quarantine off a tank from the system. So these guys are going to be in these tanks for the next four to six weeks, depending on how they go. I'd really love to introduce them into the system, but I'm just going to have to be patient, make sure that they're not sick and they don't introduce any parasites, or pathogens into the system. So, in the long run, it will pay off. Eventually, these guys, the ventralis, they're gonna go into this four-footer down here. This four-footer just has guppies in it, endler guppies, and a couple of bristle nodes, both long fin and short fin, common colored bristle nodes. Uh, so there, those guppies are gonna go, go get out of that tank. The bristle nodes can stay in there for the time being and the ventralis will go down there because they grow quite large and they need lots of swimming space, uh, open water, so uh, they can double out grow and um, spawn in there, hopefully. But they're pretty small at the moment, so they've got a bit of growing to do. Uh, the brevis, I might keep them up there or I might move them into one of these two-foot uh, cubes eventually for them to spawn in, hopefully. And um, those calvus, the black pair of calvus will go into this tank the white pair of calvus will go into this tank. And just for a quick side note, with calvus, do not, do not mix black and white calvus together. They, are, they look almost identical. You will not be able to tell them apart. In fact, at the moment, my white calvus are blacker, are darker than my black calvus, which is really odd, but that's just the way they are. Another reason why I don't want to stress them out too much and I don't have the lights on on those tanks. So there you go guys, that's about it for today. I'll wrap this one up now. So please hit the like button, comment and subscribe to my channel. Really help me out. And uh, yeah, thanks heaps for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. See yous.